Now when you're buying cichlids or any sort of fish for that matter to go into an aquarium and expecting them all to get along together it really is worth buying the fish small because when you buy the fish small they grow up together they don't really know they're any different to each other and they tend to get along very well. If you buy the fish large then they have um, very well established personalities and they're going to want to find their hierarchy in the aquarium and that will involve fighting. Now if you introduce small fish together and they have a bit of a fight it's no big drama but if you introduce large fish together and they have a fight they'll often rip each other apart and kill each other just like with people. If you introduce someone from Australia and someone from Iraq and someone from China and someone from India and you introduce all these babies together they really don't know they're any different to each other and they'll all get along very well and they'll sort out any differences they have while they're small which is typically no problem. On the other hand as they grow up and they've got their own beliefs and they've got their own uh, mannerisms and way of life and religions and all this other stupid garbage that makes people decide to hate each other then there's every chance they're going to fight. Could be over stupid crap like how you eat your food or how you pray to your god or any other stupid reason that you might have to fight each other. Fish are exactly the same. If you introduce large fish and they have got their way of life and what they're used to in their previous aquarium or their previous habitat then they will fight each other and they will need to sort out their dominance and that can involve killing each other. So start with small fish if you can. Let the fish grow up together and they will tend to get along very well. Add large fish and you are increasing the risk of damage or fighting or death. Another thing is that um, studies have been done that suggest that fish have no concept of their own growth. So if you do get a whole bunch of tiny little fish and throw them in your fish tank, they swim around your fish tank like it's the whole ocean. And supposedly, as the fish grow, they don't actually know they're getting any bigger. They don't have anything to compare it to. They don't have any gripe, hey, you tight ass, I should be in a bigger fish tank. They don't have any of those sorts of skills. So all they know is their tank, just like a budgie. You grow a budgie up in a cage, and you let the budgie out of the cage, and often the first thing it wants to do is climb straight back in the cage because that's what it knows. So getting small fish and letting them grow in your fish tank is good for the fish, and it's good for other fish that are put in the aquarium because you'll have less issues with the fish. Anyway, if you've got anything to add to this, then chuck a comment down the bottom. Any bad experiences you've had adding big fish? Um, any tips you've got for adding big fish? Actually, one tip that anyone should have is rearrange a tank. If you are going to introduce fish to your aquarium, if you rearrange a tank and disorientate the fish that are in there, it does give the fish a better chance.